Okay, I'm um, here with uh, Louise, and she just finished shedding. Uh, her sheds look like this, and uh, I was thinking to myself, when this stuff is all over the house, just exactly how much skin does she have? How many little tiny pieces of this shed skin am I going to pick up all over the carpet? So I started thinking about it as a math problem. Um, I know we, in school somewhere, we all did learning how to calculate the volume, the, the volume, surface area of a cylinder. And we had things like this, and we stared at it, and there's a formula for the, the area when it's just the outside of the cylinder, the, the rounded side, and then there's the area when you include the, the top and the bottom as well, and those are just circles. So there's the area of a circle. But in this case, Louise doesn't have an, an end. Okay, she's got her tail tapers down to nothing, and and her and her head is kind of pointy. Um, so she's not she's not really a very good cylinder. But maybe we can kind of take a guess. Um, I do know that she's 11, about 11 and a half feet long, and this part up here she's she's pretty skinny. Here we go. I've got a yardstick here, and she's about two inches across. Now across would be diameter, not radius. But she's about two inches there. And over here, she gets kind of fat. Hey girl. Over here, she's, uh, it's hard to measure. But, um, okay, that's uh, oh, roughly four and a half. So, four and a half diameter. So that's about two inches Two inches radius, let's say, two and a half inches. Okay, well let's let's go ahead and, and call it two, just as a, as a guess. And I'm wondering uh, it, how many square feet of skin does she have? Now a square foot is how do you how do you measure that? Twelve by twelve. Um, that's a that's a foot, square foot of paper. Now, uh, in the United States, a standard sheet of, of, of paper for a typewriter, uh, typewriter, who the hell uses those? Printer, paper, normal business office is 11, 8 half by 11. Uh, if you're British, you're using A4, which is a little tiny bit bigger. Um, so that's, let's call that, that's 8 half by 11, so that's 11, so 12 would be that would be there, so we could make a square. So a square would be roughly roughly that size. And then another fourth piece for the bottom. Okay, I can kind of start to visualize that. Now I'm looking at it and thinking, well how many how many squares would it take to cover her whole body? And I'm guessing hmm. Stuck it all together. Six? I'm gonna say square six square feet. Well, I don't really know, but so I'm going to have to go off and do the math. But let's talk about let's do the let's do the formula here. Got my cheat sheets. Excuse me. Um, surface area. Um, all right. Sorry. Can I write on you? Do you mind? Yep. Yeah, give me that part. I'll write on that part. Two. I. R. H. We know H is. That she's 11 and a half feet long. Nice, I checked. Radius, we're going to go with two inches. Inches. Uh, pi, we're going to, you know, we can approximate three. Uh, now, the one thing is you can't have inches and feet in the same formula. If you're going to do a calculation like this, you've got to change it over. So you've got to make uh, radius into two inches is a foot is 12 inches, so two inches would be one thick of a foot, okay, well, one sixth of a foot times by 11 and a half feet, so um, times radius, and I'm going to say three. So, oh, well that's easy. It just got easy. Where are you going? Uh, you, do you want to look at this? Do you want to check my math? There you go. Okay, so three times by, so that's already, that's a half times by 11 and a half, um, half of 11 and a half, 11.5. Do you know how hard it is to do division when you've got a reptile licking your feet? Stop that! 
Okay, quick break for pictures. This is me outside uh, peeling her, s her skin off the one time that it came off in nearly one continuous piece, which is really rare. Okay, I screwed that okay. up, but I did prove that, yes, you can, in fact, uh, have real difficulty doing math when a snake is licking the bottom of your feet. Okay, two pi r h. Uh, two is fine. Two. Come on, come on. Two pi. Uh, three is a decent enough approximation. R, I said, was going to be two inches, which is one-sixth of a foot. And the height, we said, was going to be eleven and a half. Eleven and a half is uh, twenty-two, twenty-three over two. Okay. Now, uh, two times three is six. That cancels out the six. We're left with twenty-three over two, eleven and a half. Eleven and a half square feet. That's pretty amazing because I actually guessed six. So I was I was way off. <laughs>